In this video, we will be going over geometric sequences. Geometric sequences are sequences in which each term is found by multiplying the term before it by a constant. By this definition, the following two sequences are geometric sequences. In this first sequence, to get from 2 to 4, you have to multiply by 2. And then to get from 4 to 8, you have to multiply by 2 as well. And the same is true for getting from 8 to 16. Because the number you need to multiply a term by to get the next term is staying constant, this is a geometric sequence. But the terms in a geometric sequence don't necessarily have to increase as the sequence progresses, as we can see in the second geometric sequence, in which each term is the previous term multiplied by 1 half. 2 times 1 half is 1. 1 times 1 half is 1 half and one-half times one-half is one-fourth. In general, geometric sequences can be written in the following form, where A represents the first term in the geometric sequence, and R represents the common ratio, which is a number you need to multiply a term by to get the next term in a geometric sequence. So in both the geometric sequences that we've written, a, the first term, is equal to 2. And in the first geometric sequence, the common ratio r is equal to 2 as well, while in the second one, r is equal to 1 half. Now to find the nth term in a geometric sequence, you can use the formula a sub n is equal to a times r to the power n minus 1. And to understand where this formula really comes from, Let's look back at the general form for a geometric sequence. Notice that to get the second term in this geometric sequence, we take the first term a and multiply it by the common ratio r once. To get the third term, we take the first term again, but this time multiply it by the common ratio twice, so a times r squared. And so to get the nth term of this sequence, we would need to take the first term and multiply it by the common ratio n minus 1 times. Now let's put this formula to use with the following problem. Find the seventh term in the geometric sequence that begins with 9, 3, 1, and 1 third. Since we're looking for the seventh term, n is equal to 7, and a is just the first term, and so it's equal to 9. And then to find the common ratio r, we can take any term in the sequence and divide it by the previous term. So if we take the second term, 3, and divide it by the first term, 9, we get that the common ratio for the sequence is one third. And we know that this is correct because if you take any term in the geometric sequence and multiply it by one third, you get the next term. Nine times one third is three, three times one third is one, and one times one third is one third. Now if we plug all this information into our formula, we get that a sub seven, the seventh term in this geometric series, is equal to a which is nine times r which we found was one third, to the 7 minus 1 or 6th power. 9 is 3 squared, and 1 over 3 to the 6th power can be rewritten as 1 to the 6th power over 3 to the 6th power. And we can cancel out a 3 squared in the numerator and the denominator, and we're left with a sub 7 is equal to 1 over 3 to the 4th, which is equal to 1 over 81. So the seventh term in this geometric sequence is 1 over 81. Now let's try this slightly more challenging problem. Given that the third term in the geometric sequence is 24, and that the sixth term is 648, find the common ratio in the first term in the geometric sequence. To get from the third term in this geometric sequence, which is 24, to the sixth term, which is 648, we need to multiply it by the common ratio three times. So 24 times r cubed is equal to 648. 24 times r will give us the fourth term, 24 times r squared will give us the fifth term, and so 24 times r cubed will give us the sixth term, which the problem tells us is 648. If we divide by 24 on both sides, we get that r cubed is equal to 648 over 24, which is 27, and so r is equal to 3. Now to find the first term in this geometric sequence, we can actually use the formula to find the nth term, except instead of solving for a sub n, we're going to be solving for a, which is the first term. Now I'm going to choose to work with the third term for this solution, but you can also pick the sixth term, and as long as you stay consistent, your solution should be correct. 
we know that a sub 3 is equal to a times r to the 3 minus 1 or second power. The problem tells us that the third term in this geometric sequence is 24, and so 24 is equal to a times r, which we found was 3, squared. 3 squared is 9, so if we divide by 9 on both sides, we get that a is equal to 24 over 9, which simplifies to 8 over 3. So 8 over 3 is the first term in this geometric sequence.